G'day guys, I'm Taka and welcome to Single Cup of Happiness channel! Yay! Today we're going to be doing some home brewing using Aeropress! <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have Will today because of the current situation. It's a bit sad but I'm going to be delivering this video on my own today. Hopefully things will get better soon and we'll get Will back in the frame again and we can start talking about coffee again. But meanwhile, I'll be doing what I can, do a video on home brewing. First video, I'm going to be showing you guys some Aeropress. It's a nice and easy apparatus. All it is, is just load it up with ground coffee, hot water, brew it in there for a while and then press it down. And you have a delicious cup of coffee. Today we're going to be using coffee from Brew, Bolivian, Java, natural process. So, let's get brewing. <laughs> I want to do a nice and easy tutorial. Keep it simple. It's 15 grams of coffee and 250 grams of hot water. Grinder for today, I'll be using Comandante. It's a really nice grinder. So, the grind size, we're going to be using 18 clicks. Comandante grinder users would most likely know, but quickly talk about it. To get zero on Comandante grinder, this was actually uh, explained on their official channel. All it is is just go towards fine, just go back, go back towards fine to a point where your handle, when you release your hand, your handle won't move. So that's zero. If I go one click course, it drops. If I go one click fine, it stays there. So that's your zero. So 18 clicks from here. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, so that's your 18 clicks. Going. Okay, first, we'll wait out the coffee. 15 grams. We'll wait out, wait out 15 grams of coffee. And always make sure when you're sitting on 15, you add one extra piece of bean. Because it's a dry product, it creates static electricity, and some of the fine particles get caught up in the grinder so you have a really high chance of losing that 0 0.1 0 0.2 grams of beans so always add that extra piece in there make sure you always have a bit of extra you can always take that pinch it out at the end let's load up the beans So 15 grams, I actually had 15.3 But there it is You can see There it is See that particle grow coffee there, ground coffee there So that will not and in there, it ends up in here. So 15 grams. Yeah, everything ready. Quick and simple way, paper filter. Load it up in here. And we'll rinse the paper with hot water. Get rid of the papery smell. Eat. Get the air press ready. Okay. Tear it to zero. Load the beans in there. 
Tap it a little bit, make it nice and flat. And we're ready to rock and roll. Best thing about brew scales is it gives you the timer as well. First of all, I'll be pouring three times the amount of ground coffee in there, so 15 grams. So I'll be pouring 45 grams of hot water in there. So let's start the timer and start pouring up to 45 grams. Spatula. Make sure, give it a little stir, make sure all the ground coffee is really touching that water. And keep pouring up until 250 grams. Two fifty. That's it. We'll remove it from here. I like to cover it, so I won't be losing the heat unnecessarily. We're gonna brew it up until. Two minutes, about minute fifty. Give it a quick stir, nice and gentle. Place the filter cap on there. And nice and Nice and steady, apply, start applying pressure. Make sure it's a steady pressure, not too hard, not too soft. The key to a good cup of coffee is the consistency. Keep applying this pressure, the same pressure throughout the whole room. Sound, that's the end of the brew. Flip it over, and that's the press. There we go. So that was your AeroPress, nice and easy apparatus, it's easy to clean as well when you're finished brewing, take that filter cap off, and just pop it out, and give it a quick, quick rinse. So that was your AeroPress, if you found this video useful, make sure to hit like, comment below and don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll be doing some brewing video in a future episodes as well but until then bye and I'll see you at the next episode